What should we do next? Ah, uh, let me look over. Ending on um, Hit and Blow is, is good, because these are competitive games, and then Hit and Blow is like a teamwork. It, it, I mean, you play it competitively, but I love doing it as a team, so. Okay. Um, the, the games that I would, I definitely want to play that we haven't played already, probably would be um, uh, Backgammon and um, Mancala. Those are the two, no, and like Toy Curling is fun, <laughs> but um, those okay. are the two, those are the two that um, are two player games that I really like and are at least decent at. <laughs> Shoot, what? Which one is Backgammon? I, I don't remember. Uh, Backgammon don't remember. is the one directly under Hit and Blow. Okay. That one. Yes. So you wanted you wanted to do Backgammon and Toy Tennis, is that right? Uh, toy Curling and Mancala. Those are the three that um, I know that I could do at least decent at. <laughs> All right. Those are, those are fun. Those are the yeah, refresher on back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's totally fair. Oh, I this is the number one game that I learned oh, yeah, yeah. that I didn't okay, you get, know before. With this okay, so you get game. pieces across the board. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll I'll just try to roll with it. Single game. Yeah. yeah. We're actually okay. recording for a bit longer than I thought we were going to, but I can definitely make fun. time for all the games that you want to play. Absolutely, I'm, and I mean whether you split this up or not, it it works for. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm definitely like, splitting it up into a few. Yeah, that's it's for the best. So um, and I just need to yeah. figure out what the thumbnail is gonna be. I can I can um oh boy um I can DM you um my art from Rachel so they can nice we can have both of them so it 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 makes more sense stylistically opposed to just that real picture of me blow drying my hair that I did not <laughs> I did not I randomly took um not thinking it would uh be anything and now uh -huh. i see that picture more than i thought i would <laughs> oh sorry um, yeah no funny it's all that good said, funny that oh, at a point you made it a point to hide your face but i i guess yeah. i don't want to go through that yeah i it, it's not that i made i went out of my way to not show my face it's more or less just that i was very self-con like conscious for a long time yeah, I, I need that. a six to tie that but that's unlikely yeah. yep so you go first and uh you work with the rules that we got yeah. In um, fact, uh, when I started my channel back in 2009, mm. which is just really old at this point, yeah, I, I also kind of hid my face for a bit there, because I, what I did was I made Guitar Hero videos anyway, so it's not mm. like it would have been a big yeah. deal if nobody knew what I look like, but... Technically speaking, I also started in 2009, but you are, you are older than me, so 2009 me is a nine-year-old kid, and, um... That first video. I don't know if you were there when we watched it in that private server. I feel bad. No, I don't think I was. All the time. But um, <laughs> that video is still public on YouTube on a channel called 77 Pokemon, which is uh, full of full of interesting uh, things from child Andrew. But um, if you want to look that up, viewers at home. Yeah, it's yeah. I won't. I won't have you link that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'll, um, I'll just link your channel and let's talk gaming. That's for the best for sure. Oh, I have to go up here. Got it. Wait. Yeah, oh, I'm got the, the swooping. You're black. It looks like. Yeah, I've I. You're always white when you play um, like yourself. So I definitely um, did not know what I was doing, and I'm going to be an ass. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, I. So. So. So it's yeah. checker rules. Checkers rules. Okay. Uh, kind of. You ha once you're knocked out. You have to move those pieces out, so you can't do that move at all. You you have to move the pieces that are in. The okay, middle. so um, it's definitely a uh, screw over your friends and uh, make you two hate each other move. Um, so like, sorry. Do, yeah, pretty much. If you do it too much, it definitely um, screws you over, and um, that's why you definitely want your pieces to not be like singled out. Um, because uh, that one piece that I now have single and your two pieces in the first two that are single um, can be captured. But, like, the sets that I have of two cannot be captured. You can only capture, like, one-on-one, -on -one, pretty much. Okay. So, yeah. So now that those pieces are not in the middle, you can pretty much move whatever you want. Uh, fine. Yeah, I'll do that. That seems like a good yes. move to do. I have always been white doing this. Well, I mean... Yes, but in terms of checker <laughs> pieces, I've always, <laughs> I've always we, been. We know white. what you mean. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, it, it it's definitely uh, interesting to be playing from the perspective of, of being needing to get up to the top opposed to the bottom. 
I think God, I need I to get to so, the bottom. It feels like I'm making race comments, and that's not at all what no. I'm... <laughs> no. Uh, I, I'm I don't think for. anyone's malicious enough to take this out of context. Yeah, we can hope. <laughs> Alright, and when you uh, roll two of the same die, um, you get four uh, moves. Uh, to, essentially, uh, opposed to the two. So I will do that. That is oh, really I cool. I did, I did not mean on doing that, so, okay. Well, that works. That was two moves, but, um, that was two moves for each piece. But you did four of Got it. Yeah. That works. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and you said it was interesting, which probably means it was bad. No, they did not at all. Oh, boy. Um. Again. God, I've... That's, it's such a rude thing, but it's also kind of... I always feel... That's just the pacifist in me that's that's that does stuff like this, and then I'm just... I feel I feel immediately bad. Don't don't feel bad. No, I know. It's just how I am. So so whenever I do that, I'm just like... Eh. <laughs> but it'll... It's... You know, it's, it's the game. Oh, play. yeah. I need, to move, I need to move my piece. Yeah. Can I select the piece, please? Yeah. <laughs> And then, yeah, and then you can do whatever. Thank you. All right. God, I'm, I'm 12, getting all Jesus. the doubles today. Well, let's do that. You're definitely going to get a quadruple six at some point tonight. Oh, you can hope. Getting, get, you want to get quadruple sixes when you're at the end, like, very much. You do? You do? Really? Because Pretty it looks much, like, yeah. Because it looks like it makes you go exactly to get to the end. Um... When, once you have all your pieces at the end, and then, um, if you get it, once you, okay, so, basically, once you, um, I'll, I'll do it on mine just to explain it, so, you get six from here, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and that'll bring you to this one. Okay. When you get to the point where you have no pieces here, and so, let's say you have four pieces here, and then you roll double sixes. You move. You can move these to the very end, um, okay. just because it's like you can only you can only do so much at that point. Um, so once you can physically not do exact anymore, then you can start to kind of you know move pieces um, in such a way that will still get you to the end. Um, but you can't move any pieces into your into the end until you have all of your pieces um, on one side of the board. Okay, that is that is crucial information for me, so thank you. Yeah, very much so. So you can't move any of your pieces in, but um, I will be about to um, very soon. So okay. it, it, it definitely works to get all your pieces kind of spread out, but also if you have all your pieces past six, that's a pretty good place to be in too. And you don't need double sixes to move if you have nothing in six. Like it's just it, it just works that way regardless. So it's it's not as perfect as sorry. I don't even remember what it's called in this game. Ludo. I believe. Ludo. That's right. Was that one of the ones you wanted to play, or that's actually better? With I, 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 I'm definitely down. This is this is risky though. This is a very risky move. Yeah, you've not... only got two that are not in there. Yeah, and they're a ways away. Yeah, that was that was the right move. That was definitely the right move to make. And then you can, yep, that was that was very much the correct move. And now I have to move that out. And um, this is this is definitely where you want to make the right moves, because I mean, I know I uh, some people will be like, you shouldn't give away strategy to someone who doesn't know the game. But I, I like I like giving the options and um, helping you know figure out what the right things to do are. Um, right. my, my viewpoint is always you want to move two pieces opposed to just moving one. Yeah. Um, I need to get that last one can. out of the way because it's in danger. Yeah. No. Uh, we're going to do this. I think this is the move for now. Hope for the best. It, it's, it's definitely a very tricky, um, situation. I mean, there's, there's always, I, I might just, I mean, I'm just talking about how I play. There's definitely no wrong way to play this except the way that makes you lose that yeah <laughs> i mean the switch isn't gonna call you out and no. try to cancel you so it, it, as long as you're 
Why would somebody Dude. cancel me for playing backgammon incorrectly? <laughs> I, I mean, you're off Twitter, so I mean, you know, it's... That's, I am canceled if I don't have Twitter. You should be, you should be good. <laughs> I don't get... So many of our friends are off Twitter now, especially the ones who Twitter has been so mean to in the past couple of years. You and our, our friend Charlotte especially, Twitter has been not yeah, nice she... to... I, there was a time where she basically depended on my phone number mm. whenever she got locked out of her account, and uh, it seems like at this point she's basically decided it's not worth it. Even yeah, though I don't, even I don't though blame her. her account is not tied to my phone number anymore, it's because of if, if you're wondering how my phone number got attached to that, it's because of dumb novelty accounts we used to make like five years ago. Yeah, it it just sort of happens. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So so I so, couldn't do anything with yeah because you couldn't move your piece that's locked in to oh, okay. sixes. Um. I yeah. Da you. Dance is basically that. And at the end, it, it'll say like, when the game's over, to be a losing player could bear off some checkers or something like that. It doesn't super mean anything. It's not really crucial. It's it's it's. I think it's something to do with like sets of games and like the way you play in real life. I don't. I. I I could not tell you. I really don't know. Okay. This is the part where you scream. I absolutely over have tricky. to do that. I'm no, sorry. No, you 100 percent need to. Don't. That's absolutely the way the game is, and that's why sometimes screwing your friends over is not the right move. Because again, like it, it screws you over, and again, like I can't move out that other piece unless I roll numbers that are higher than one and two. So it, it, it definitely. There's definitely strategy to it, and it's not really like Sorry, where the best thing to do is to screw over your friends at every waking moment. <laughs> That's correct. I can't move that. It's yes, that was the right. That the, was the right that move. Is, yes, that is very much the correct move. Um, so yeah, I will. I know I just said it's best to not use all your die on one piece, uh, preferably, but I mean that's obviously the the right move to make there. Sometimes. Ooh. Oh, I can't move that piece, apparently. I don't... I don't super know... I don't really get why Wait, that can't do that. I captured a piece? Whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah, if... If I'm you're... Sorry. If you're... One of the dice amounts... If you're using all your dice rolls on one piece, if one of the dice amounts does land on your piece, then that... That very much, um takes control of that. Okay. Um, I gotcha. Oh, golly, golly, golly. Um, after after a point, you just stop trying to capture pieces unless you li physically have no other move just because you need to try and move the game along because you can not stalemate, but you can um, definitely just stall the game in indefinitely <laughs> doing stuff uh, like that. That's fun. Uh, I guess, yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I love... Backgammon is... That and Mancala are the two games I did not know how to play even a little bit before um, buying Clubhouse, but I have fallen in love with playing since. That's probably the wrong move, but I did it anyway. <laughs> it, it wasn't that bad of a move, honestly. Yeah. Um, I remember that I've played this game before, but it has probably been well over a decade. Yeah. Like I, I my parent, my my family more likes to play cribbage, I guess, and I don't really. Yeah. I'm not really into cribbage that much. I I, I definitely haven't played. I, I I don't know if I've tried to play this at some point, but honestly, um, I don't know if I've tried to play this at one point in real life, but I do not think I have. Um, it it very much felt like learning. Um. And then, and that's a great thing. But it very much felt like learning playing it on, on here for the first time. Um, yeah, this is a good way to to learn how to play some of these board games because they, very very handy with trying to teach you this. Definitely. Unlike probably the majority of shogi or or uh, mahjong games that are exclusive to Japan for like the yeah. Sega Saturn or. <laughs> PlayStation, like I, I this just is, having a of... entire games that are just yeah. one board game. I don't know why you would buy that, even in 1997. Mm. 
when you have a Japanese Sega Saturn. <laughs> yeah. I don't get that. <laughs> but, oh, got it. like, 50 different games, and you can play online with your friends? Hell yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is, this is a... Clubhouse 51 hates babies, but this is a... a... <laughs> This is a good game to get, um, for sure. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, whether we're doing episodes with between two good friends or playing with um, a couple of other people, it's it's it, it, this really is like a very fun time, and I'm I'm super into this game. Yeah. Like I am always down to do this. <laughs> it's it's great. It's it's a great time. Yeah. There, there will definitely be. LCG episodes with this game um, when when we film again for sure. Like there, there's no question in my mind about that. Like I, I know look forward for a fact it will be 100. It'll it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. Good. God, I feel... Oh boy. All right. There's nothing now, else you can do. Basically, th there is. I'm, but <laughs> but you know. One That's, for you. I mean, yeah, those were One those were you. great. Those were literally the best rolls you could have gotten. Like just flat out, those were the best rolls. Like 100%. And now you gotta capture me. God, this is this is just not. That's <laughs> this mean. is just adding insult to injury. You're like, mean. Very much. Oh God, Andrew Prep is an asshole. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> I didn't say you were an <laughs> asshole. I said you were mean. No, I know. I'm, I'm saying it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. See, but what's hard is once you get all your pieces in, that doesn't mean you're in the clear, because then you're, you're still definitely in a position where you're. I'm safe. Yeah, I can very much still be in trouble. Um. We'll do that. You have no pieces captured, actually, so this is this is a safe move. Let's see. Yeah, now now I'm definitely at the point where I I, I just try to get my pieces in because I Cause at this can. point un unless I'm in like a very specific situation. Um. Yeah, so this is like literally the only move I can make. Oh, now I can. Okay, got it. Um, Yahoo! I, I'm, I'm, I definitely have to be careful because like once you get like your pieces out, but you still have ones that I could capture. Like when you have two, I, I this is very much where I, I need to not be an ass because if, I mean, if the game forces me to be, then like there's nothing I can do. Right. Uh, I only want to be with you, but um. Da -da -da. It's it's one of those things where I don't want to capture your piece because then you have to come back in where all my pieces are and then you can literally wipe a piece out and then I have to take it all the way home. I just so, got to be careful with the way I remove my pieces from your zone, I think. Well, I, I very much do not want to knock any of your pieces out at this point. No. Because if you re... Like, if I, not, if I got... Say so you didn't have you had one piece in both of here, and I used my two, and you know, oh god, and then went one two, and then knocked this out, and then you roll a one, and then you knock this piece out, and it goes all the way back here, and I have to move it all the way over. That that's like a thorough waste of time, and yeah, um, you very much want to not waste time when you're at a position like this. That's a safe bet. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um. So, so this is Christmas. It's literally April. <laughs> yeah. So this is Christmas, and, and what a happy New Year! I, I a lot of people ask me sometimes. Not a lot of people, but I know there are probably people that are, <laughs> they're curious. Um, and what I would say the worst Maroon Five song is, and uh. It is 100% the cover of uh, Happy Xmas, War is Over. Uh, is, it, there's no I, doubt in my To mind. be fair, though, I don't think there's anyone who could make that song good. I, you know, that's a, fa that's a fair assessment, but, like, straight up, like, Adam Levine sounds terrible on it. And I, I would argue it's the only song he sounds, like, 
genuinely terrible on. It's just like, it, it's it's pretty rough. Like I don't know I'd, what the. Fuck I, I will doing. take your word for it then. It's and not listen to it. Yeah, I, already, I, don't, I already don't like that song. I didn't like when John Legend did it a couple of years ago, and yeah. they did Amazon exclusive. Yeah, that's 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 an odd thing. Am these fucking Amazon exclusive? Oh well, there's my first Christmas song. Like word. Justin um, Bieber did. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, exclusive for Amazon. Yeah. Um, uh, Carrie, Carrie Underwood, Underwood did this one. really yep. bland, uninspired original song. Which is that whole album, basically. That whole album. But there was one specific song, I think. It was called Favorite Time of Year, and it was exclusive yep. to Amazon. That sounds correct. I, I, my family has Prime, and, you know, I'll take advantage of it. Um, but I, I definitely, um, I'll listen to... Cause I, that, with a lot of those, they're just like standalones where Carrie Underwood, it was like a, a technically a deluxe edition of the album, but really it's just like the album with that song thrown on. And I listened to it and I was just like, God, this is so <laughs> annoying. The, my 2020, it's weird to say this because I, it's the only Carrie Underwood album I've heard currently, but um, oh. <laughs> I, I, I'd say one of my biggest disappointments of um. 2020 was that uh, Carrie Underwood's Christmas album was literally on the same quality level as Gabby Barrett's debut. That was frustrating. Oh, <laughs> Gabby Barrett's album that 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 thing is very cheap. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I I honestly kind of believe it because like I only know the singles, so I hope and the good ones. Ugh, I've <laughs> we talk frequently about how bad the good ones is it's yeah and it's i not great <laughs> i'm shocked that i got any pushback saying that it was like very clearly going to be a hit like i'm blown the hell away by and it's gonna it's like projected to hit the top 20 tonight actually we'll we'll literally know in two hours mm. when we're recording this so that tells you when we're recording uh, it's 8 30 for me and i live in the central time zone you live in the eastern so that is does, correct do the do the charts usually update at eleven? Because some yeah, I know sometimes I, uh, they the charts don't. But this is this is a thing that I very much do. And if you're wondering how places like Talk of the Charts or Chart Data get their chart information um, uh, after Billboard has officially announced like the debuts and then a couple of other things here today, pretty much just the returns. Well, a couple of returns, not all of them. Maybe all of them. Um, and that's game as well. Um, that is game. Uh, it's because artists have not all of them, which can be annoying, but um, artists have uh, archive pages. So let's just say like Little Baby, you know, has um, an he didn't page. for a while, right? He d I, yeah, he didn't have an archive page until like midway through last year, which makes no sense to me whatsoever. After he had play of hits in 2018 and 19. That's that's yeah, just after, laziness. After 2017, like midway through 2017, before that, pretty much every artist did have an archive page. So like, between Vanessa Carlton to Maroon Five to like whoever had charted, like had an, and not just on the Hot 100. So like that's why Gunna had a page for that whole time because Gunna had hit like the 200, which is the album's chart. Um, so like. The artists from like 2017 back to like the 60s or whatever, whenever they started, 60 something. Um, was it 50? I don't know. Um, I think it might have been 50s, but it might have been like 59 or something. Um, but regardless, um, all those artists had pages, but artists like from that forward did not. So, um, so like yeah, Little Baby didn't have a page for a while. I the first time I noticed they were giving new pages is when I found Juice World had one after Juice passed. And I he was didn't like, have one when he was alive? Jesus. No, no. Because they didn't. Oh. They made no pages between, like, I think midway through 2017 to, like, the very end of 2019. If that's... not the very beginning of 2020. Like, they did not have pages. Oh, that's, that's rough. That was real rough. <coughs> <Joke. coughs> you okay there? <coughs>